Hello, and welcome to this introductory video from the Wound Ostomy Incontinence Institute on accessing and utilizing the student portal. When you obtain your login information, including your username and password, please visit the walkinstitute.ca website. Scroll to the top of the page where you can see the tab Current Students. Under this, when you hover over that area, you will see an item called Student Portal, Cohort 27 Plus. When you select this link, you will be brought to a sign-in page. Please note, it gives you an idea that you should use your first initial and your last name at walkinstitute.ca. In this case, we've created an individual called Test User. Therefore, the username will be tuser at walkinstitute.ca. Once you hit enter, it will prompt you for a password. In the case of a new user, you will be prompted to create your password for the first time. This is a password only you will know. It's important that you keep this noted in a safe place so that you do not misplace this password. Once you type in your password and click sign in, you will then be prompted to ask whether or not you would like to stay signed in. This is up to you. You will then be brought to the Compass for Student webpage. In this area, you will have access to a number of items. First, on the right hand side of the screen, you will see you have the option to return to the Wound Ostomy and Condense Institute website. You will also have access to your courses just below this, which will open a new link to the Moodle login webpage. You will then also have the option of clicking communication and teamwork, which will bring you to Microsoft Teams. More about that in a few minutes. One of the most important areas of the student portal is access to the Compass webmail. If you select Access Compass Webmail, you will then be brought to an Outlook page where you will then be able to access your student email. It is important that you're checking your student email often as your important information regarding the program coming from academic advisors and other faculty members will all be going to your student email after the time that you are given your login information. In this screen, it's much like any other email service. You're able to create a new email, type in the individual's name. So let's say that I am sending an email to the Wound Ostomy and Condens Institute chair. If I start typing Kim's name, it will appear underneath. You're simply able to then click that name, type in your subject, and then start typing your email. Once the email has been completed, you can then send that email. In this case, we will discard the email. You then on the left-hand side can see you also have access to your sent items, drafts of emails that you are also working on here. You also have the option of clicking in the search area and searching either by individual that you've either sent an email to or received an email from or based on subject. Going back to the Compass for Students webpage, you also have access to the communication and teamwork area, which is Microsoft Teams. If you select this, you will then be brought to the Microsoft Teams web page. You may also be prompted to download the app, and it is your choice should you download this onto your computer. You may find that it allows easier access for course discussions and materials. It will also allow you to display your screen should you wish to share it with your peers, and it will also give you access to other features such as video conferencing. When you first log into Teams, you will note that there are squares on the front page 
next to the Teams icon. In this case, our test user is signed up for the Ostomy Cohort 27 English program. If you were to select this tile, you will then be brought to the general discussion. You are then able to, in the conversation area, you can type a message to your whole group. Should you wish to mention a specific individual or gain their attention, you simply type the at symbol prior to deciding who it is that you would like to email or mention, not necessarily email. You also have access to attach a file or start a meeting simply by clicking on the Meet Now button, and you will be prompted to either have a teleconference or a video conference with your peers or the academic advisor of that cohort. You can also see up at the top, there's a number of tabs such as conversations, files, class notebooks, and assignments. Your, your academic advisor may um, place certain files in these areas, um, and they will notify you should they be doing so. You also have an area where you can go on the left-hand side to the chat icon, and in this case, you are then able to message specific individuals, peers, and academic advisors individually. You also have access to a meetings calendar. Should there be a meeting scheduled, you will then see it in the calendar, and you can also schedule a meeting simply by clicking Schedule a Meeting. Should you do that, you can then set a title, the date that you would like your meeting to be held, some information about that meeting, and then you can simply type in the name of the individual that you would like to join your meeting. Once you have reviewed your meeting, you can then click Schedule and either your peers, your academic advisors, or faculty members will receive an email with your invitation to meet, after which they can then reply to you or meet you at the scheduled time. There's more information that you can learn about Microsoft Teams, as well as some of the other Microsoft applications that are available through the student portal please refer to the updated student policy on utilizing the portal for a link to learn more about the student portal and Microsoft applications that are included. There are links for further education as well as training on these items. Going back to the Compass website, you will notice at the top of the page, there are tabs called Academics, life and financial assistance, as well as profile and information. These same tabs or headings can be found at the bottom of the web page as well. Please review these as they are important information. And you will note under profile and information, there is a link to the help desk. Should you require technical support, such as password related or issues with regards to the student portal, you can select Help Desk, and then you will be brought to the Walk Institute Help Desk. You will note that there is a knowledge base with information about topics such as Microsoft Teams and others. However, should you wish to uh, request a support ticket, you simply click New Support Ticket, and you will be brought to an information page that you can then fill out. As you complete the information, you'll be prompted to note, is it a question, a problem, or a future request, as well as for what platform it is that you have a question, as this ticket system can also be used for other technical support related to the school, not just the student portal. At this time, we will return to the Compass homepage. If we scroll to the middle of the page, you can stay tuned under the news section for any news that may be coming out of the Institute. Please keep in mind to check this section frequently as the academic advisor or faculty may add important information for you to know. 
Events can also be placed in this area, such as the upcoming conference for May 22nd of next year, which will be held in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Just below this, there is also a section which allows easy access to the Microsoft Online Suite. If you do not already have access to software such as Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you can now easily access these tools online by simply clicking these links. For example, if you have an assignment that you need to complete in Microsoft Word, simply click on Microsoft Word. A new tab will open. You can select a new blank document. At this point, you will be able to be brought to the online version of Microsoft Word. The online version of Microsoft Word has many of the same features as the desktop version of Microsoft Word. We will return to this in just a moment as it appears to be taking some time to open. Going back to the Compass website, if you select the top left hand corner, you will notice a button when you hover over it, it notes the app launcher. Here you have access to a number of different applications, including OneDrive where you can keep and store files, share with your peers or academic advisors. You have access to other, um, other applications such as Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. You also have easy access to Teams, as well as a notebook service, OneNote. Now going back to the document we had just created in Microsoft Word Online. Unfortunately, it looks like it ran into a slight problem, so we'll just refresh that briefly. And you can now see that you have easy access to Microsoft Word in an online format, where you can simply work on your online document. It will save your changes automatically to your OneDrive. And when you're prepared to download it to your computer, you simply click on File, Save As, and then you're able to download a copy of your Word document or download it as a PDF file directly to your computer. Going back to the Compass for Student webpage, I would just like to remind you to please explore all the different options available to you through this page. You have a number of different links and important resources to explore, including items such as your academic information, journals, and other information such as certification for after graduation. And you also have other important life and financial assistance resources, such as perks offered specifically to the Wound Ostomy and Continence Institute students, which you can find more about if you click on the per Percopolis link below. You're also able to edit your online profile, and that would allow you to add a personal profile picture. Um, it will allow you to provide more information about yourself to your peers so that when they're emailing you or connecting with you on Teams, they know a little bit more about you. And this is going to conclude our short tutorial on the Wound Ostomy Incontinence student portal. Thanks for joining us. We hope that you enjoy the portal and are looking forward to starting your courses soon.